Good morning, Sack community. Welcome to Tuesday. It's Pastor Andy coming to you live from my office here at Sion Lutheran Church located in Lancaster, Minnesota. And today I am coming to you from a place of tiredness, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It's not exhaustion, it's just tired. Kind of beat down a little bit, a little rough around the edges, just kind of feeling <laughs> lack, lack of any words you get. Ugh. And I'm sure there are some of you out there who can resonate with that, which is great because misery loves company, I've been told. Um, and so I don't want to harp on the same things I've said before. And you know, yesterday was kind of weird where I just quit. Like all of a sudden somebody was at the door and I got flustered and it got weird and, and, you know, if you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyways, today I'm just going to read a little old devotion from last year's uh, read for the day because a new one hasn't manifested it. So I usually send them to churches. I'm not sure what, what the dealio is, but this is uh, February 22nd, 2021. A little time jump, um, reading from Psalm 77. I cry out to God, aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. Hmm. And then the, the proposed hymn is, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, ELW number 742, if you're interested. And here, here is the prayer. Hear us, O Lord, when we sink beneath the restless waves that wash over us. Speak tenderly in the depth of our souls. Quiet the tempest within that we may trust your unfailing love when storms overwhelm. Amen. So with that, beloved children of God, I didn't realize that's really quick. But some thoughts on that too, which is out of the ordinary. It's just, I was working on some devotions for the Lent, uh, community Lenten devotion that's being printed this morning. Um, and a lot of it is just, and our, our theme for the devotion is, where are you, God? And it was kind of my idea, <laughs> kind of rolled with it. And it's, it's really powerful this, this time of year in this place that I find myself in to ask the question, where are you God? But the struggle is listening for the response. Because if we just lament, if we just cry out for help, for you know, support for anything like that, but we don't take the time to listen for an answer and truly listen for an answer, not just, well, you know, the, the thought that miracles don't happen anymore, that God doesn't show up anymore, which is really easy to fall into when we have a very limited view of how God operates in the world. God shows up in ways that we don't always perceive as being God. It could be um, finding a penny on the sidewalk, heads up, and you tell yourself, ooh, lucky penny. Is that God? Um, you know, getting the random phone call from a, a friend you haven't heard from in a long time or an email from somebody or an invitation to lunch or a random you know visit at the office god shows up in people god incarnate god with us god with us emmanuel the christmas story god put on flesh to be intimately connected to each and every one of us it's up to us to see it, to hear it, to 
feel it. And uh, that's that's my encouragement for you today, as well as myself, is to open your minds and your hearts and your spirits to the presence of God, wherever it might manifest. Because it may just surprise you where you get to see God. Yeah. So be well. Remember, you are beloved children of God, blessed to be a blessing. And sometimes that blessing is you being the presence of God in somebody else's life. That's a challenge. Do you accept it? I hope so. So that being said, go into this day knowing you have an opportunity to usher in the kingdom of God by being the presence of love and comfort that is around you. See ya. Yes, see ya.